What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training. HQ, baby. Today I want to talk about something that I've had issues with and I think has become a little bit more popular of an issue because more people are learning to squat deep. And that's the idea of squatting too deep for powerlifting purposes. So you're trying to maximize, obviously, your total in a powerlifting meet. And squatting any deeper than below parallel is just unnecessary. And it's just a waste as far as efficiency goes. And it kind of annoys me how a lot of times when a guy squats deeper than necessary, a lot of the comments say how this is how a squat should be done rather than how other powerlifters do it. When the reality is that's just an error. It's just a flat out mistake if you're squatting your ass to grass in an actual competition. So when it comes to fixing this issue, there's a couple steps here. And the first one is to really get an honest assessment of how deep you are squatting. And the most effective way to do this is to set up a camera and to set it at hip height so that you can clearly see the crease of your hip and the top of your knees. And this is a big issue because a lot of times people either have just lifting partners give them feedback or they have videos of their squats but they're from various angles. And I can make a full separate video on that topic alone. Okay, so now for the actual adjustments in terms of your mechanics, the main adjustment here is to reduce the speed of your eccentric. And that means to simply lower the weight slower. And what this will do is this will allow you to maintain tightness more effectively, generally speaking, and it'll also allow you to be more consistent. Some cues that have helped me is to think about avoiding shifting gears in the squat. Also a thought that helps me with this is to think about maintaining tension on my quads, keeping my body shifted forward, and then also usually I feel some tension in my hip flexors as well. But what I'm really trying to avoid, and something I've noticed I do when I do squat too deep, is I tend to sit back onto my heels at the last moment. And that's where I really get thrown forward coming up out of the hole as well, because I'm too far back. So overall I think about slowing down the centric, keeping in that same gear as I hit depth, and keeping my body shifted forward, so that the whole time I'm maintaining control and tightness throughout the whole squat. Now another big point that I recommend to cut depth a little bit closer is to widen your stance width. And I've recommended this in the past and recently now I'm back to moving it out wider and this has helped me tremendously. So squatting with a wider stance width and even creating a more hip dominant style in terms of sitting back sooner is generally what I recommend to squat higher paired up with the slower eccentric. However, something else that I've noticed is that if that does not work, you can get away with just making your own squatting style a little bit more extreme. And what I mean by this is that if you're already a quad dominant lifter, that then you can allow your knees to travel even further forward. And sometimes what will happen is that then you'll just catch a stretch reflex and your knees will be so far forward that you're just right at below parallel in the bottom position. Two lifters who I've seen who have this style are Cody Lefevre and John Hack. And then also when it comes to stance width, if you're really comfortable with the narrow stance, sometimes actually bringing your knees in and not trying to force your knees out at all can actually help more because what can happen is it can essentially make your knees hit your stomach. An example of a lifter who does this is Kyle Kia. He is a very strong lifter who is a little bit more of an extreme example with a very, very narrow stance. But he's, once again, another great example that you can use a different style and exaggerate what you already are leaning towards and just do it even harder to where then it cuts you at depth rather than having a more balanced squat. It's really difficult for me to break parallel with that stance, okay? I am basically bottoming out to break parallel. Also, for many people, switching to flat shoes can help them cut depth a little bit higher. Lastly, I want to talk about programming. I strongly advise that you involve pause squats into your training, and I'll include a link in the description to a video I've done on pause squat technique. And basically the main point is you want to stay tight in that bottom position and you don't want to relax at all and you want to stay tight exactly just below parallel so that then you'll get used to stopping yourself in that position. And it'll also force you to be a little bit more controlled in your descent. On the other end of the spectrum, I strongly advise that you avoid speed work if you have a habit of squatting too deep. And this means both reverse band work or something just like straight weight for a light percentage 
right before your meet and you're trying to hit the hole as hard as possible and just power that up as quickly as you can. Remember, it's more about consistency with your squat technique than it is necessarily about squatting every single rep as fast as you possibly can. So that's it guys, make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace! Biggie died, they shot a star Who you know in West LA Bring that ruckus to M.A. Jeez